Imagine unlocking a world where your unused Wi-Fi or computing power could turn into cash. Well, digital money, actually. Welcome to the era of D-PIN. Today, we're diving into the revolutionary realm of decentralized physical infrastructure networks, or D-PIN, a game changer in how we build, share, and manage our digital and physical spaces. This isn't just tech talk. D-PIN is turning everyday individuals into pivotal players in a global tech saga. We will see exactly what is D-PIN, its use cases, future opportunities, and predictions, along with the top 20 best D-PIN and AI crypto projects that you must know about in order to become the next crypto millionaire. Stick with us as we explore how major projects like Helium and Render are leading the charge into this new frontier. We'll introduce you to a project that's mapping the world in a way you'd never imagine possible. Trust us, you won't want to miss this. Subscribe, hit like, and let's begin. So first, what is D-PIN? Imagine D-PIN as the Robin Hood of digital resources, redistributing the wealth of the internet's infrastructure from the hands of a few to the many. D-PIN, or Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network, is a revolutionary concept that uses blockchain technology to construct a peer-to-peer -peer network for sharing and managing real-world physical resources. D-PINs aspire to provide a more accessible, efficient, and secure infrastructure for numerous industries by shifting from centralized control to a distributed network, which has the potential to transform how we interact with the physical world around us. D-PIN is expected to be one of the most active sectors in the cryptocurrency industry during the current bull run, paving the way for new developments in the internet of things, cloud computing, green energy transition, and other areas. So buckle up because this emerging technology is poised to revolutionize the way we build and interact with the physical world around us, or at least that's what the press releases say. But seriously, D-PIN is a pretty interesting concept, and I think it has the potential to change the way we think about infrastructure. D-PIN decentralizes storage and server networks, resulting in resilient and secure data storage. Unlike centralized systems with single points of failure, D-PIN provides a more reliable alternative by dispersing data over several storage nodes. This includes file storage, CDN, relational databases, and VPN networks. D-PIN's decentralized sensor networks collect precise, safe, and transparent data from a wide range of contexts, ensuring sensor data integrity and accessibility. This incorporates network devices equipped with sensors that capture real-time data, hence improving mapping capabilities and data integrity. D-PIN alters wireless networks such as 5G and Wi-Fi by creating a decentralized hotspot network. This strategy democratizes internet access by eliminating connectivity gaps that are common in remote or rural locations due to traditional internet service providers or ISPs. Additionally, D-PIN supports technologies such as 5G and LoRaWAN, which are internet of things. Has any one of you heard of D-PIN before? What are your thoughts on this new technology? Drop a like on the video as you drop your thoughts too. And some of you might want to ask how it works. This is it. Individuals contribute their underutilized resources like spare computing power, storage space, or even home Wi-Fi to the network. These resources are matched with users in need through an open and decentralized marketplace. Tokenized incentives are used to reward individuals for contributing their resources, fostering a collaborative and sustainable ecosystem. Blockchain technology ensures transparency, security, and immutability of transactions and data within the network. So guys, it's kind of like Airbnb for your computer processing power, but instead of renting out your spare bedroom, you're renting out your unused processing power. It's also like a giant global computer sharing network, except instead of sharing random videos, we're sharing processing power, storage space, and even Wi-Fi. Pretty cool, right? The D-PIN is doing more than just changing the economy. It's actually encouraging everyday people to get involved in making public infrastructure better. In a time where a lot of us are doubtful about big institutions and frustrated with slow bureaucracies, D-PIN is stepping in as a game changer. It's shifting wealth and power back to regular folks and communities. What it's offering is a future where we as individuals have a big say in the development of the infrastructure we use every day. By leveraging underutilized resources, D-PINs promote efficient resource allocation and reduce redundancy within the network. Anyone can participate in D-PINs regardless of location or financial status, leading to a more inclusive and accessible infrastructure landscape Blockchain technology provides a secure and tamper-proof foundation for the network, mitigating the risks associated with centralized control. Blockchain technology brings significant benefits to regulatory compliance and auditing practices across various industries. The inherent transparency and immutability of blockchain make it an ideal tool for ensuring compliance with regulatory frameworks and industry standards. D-PINs empower individuals to contribute and benefit from the infrastructure they rely on, fostering a sense of ownership and community. It provides an open market for hardware infrastructure, which is now monopolized by centralized big tech corporations. These decentralized open markets empower end users by eliminating a centralized institution that may restrict or shut down services at will. Take the GPU industry as an example. When decentralized computing marketplace Akash released GPU computing capabilities in 2023, 
It highlighted the problem encountered by people and small businesses in obtaining high-performance GPUs, which were normally reserved for larger clients. Uh, we would also look at this later in the video, so make sure to watch till the end. Cost effectiveness is a significant value proposition of DPINs. Mature DPINs with active service provider communities can provide competitive price and convenience, giving them a viable alternative to traditional counterparts. But what do you think? Is DPIN a game changer or just another tech fad? Let me know in the comments below. Imagine renting out your unused processing power for scientific research, video rendering, or complex simulations, all facilitated by a DPIN. DPINs could empower communities to build and manage their own wireless networks, bypassing traditional service providers and offering wider coverage and potentially lower costs sharing unused storage space for data backup archival purposes, or even distributed cloud storage solutions becomes possible with DPINs. The DPINs can incentivize individuals to contribute their sensors, enabling the creation of community-owned environmental monitoring networks, traffic data collection systems, and other innovative applications. Now, the most important part that you all have been waiting for, the top 20 DPIN projects that we think will make it big this bull run. First up is Helium, get it? Like the element? I see what they did there. Anyway, Helium is a pretty cool project that uses DPIN to create a people-powered wireless network. That's right, you could be using your own internet connection to help power the future of the internet. Pretty wild, huh? Helium invented the people's network, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer wireless network that allows low-power Internet of Things or IoT devices to send and receive data over the internet in a safe and cost-effective manner. The people's network uses Helium Long Fi technology to combine the low power long-range capabilities of Semtech's LoRaWAN wireless protocol with the ultra-secure Helium blockchain. The People's Network is a decentralized public wireless platform that extends 200 times further than Wi-Fi while providing device connectivity and data collecting at a tenth of the cost and power consumption of cellular. The People's Network is the world's largest and fastest expanding LoRaWAN network, connecting hundreds of millions of Semtech LoRa-enabled devices in over 1,000 cities. The People's Network eliminates the need to construct and maintain costly wireless infrastructure making it extremely scalable and significantly lowering entry barriers for enterprises and developers manufacturing IoT devices. Common use cases include asset tracking, supply chain and logistics, smart buildings, and agriculture. Next is Aleph.im. It is a decentralized cloud infrastructure provider specializing in solutions for dApps. Their services offer blockchain agnostic, high-speed, cost-effective, and trustless cloud solutions. With a focus on empowering decentralized artificial intelligence through compute nodes for efficient computations and enhanced data privacy, the project aims to overcome current decentralized application limitations, providing fast cross-technology and cross-chain solutions within a secure and reliable decentralized ecosystem. The Aleph.im's network enables developers to create dApps and devices, exemplified by the MyAleph Beta, a privacy-focused personal storage application replacing centralized cloud systems and note-taking software. In essence, Aleph.im contributes to the advancement of decentralized technologies, offering scalable solutions for a variety of daily use applications. Third is Filecoin. It is a decentralized storage network designed to store humanity's most important information and everything else. Filecoin's protocol offers an open source marketplace for cloud storage, incentivizing a collection of global providers to provide a more distributed and decentralized network of physical servers than cloud providers can achieve. Even the internet needs a filing cabinet. This project is building a decentralized storage network using DPIN, so you can store your most important files like those embarrassing childhood photos in a secure and distributed way. Just don't blame us if your grandma finds them. What are some of the things you would store on a decentralized storage network like Filecoin? Number four, the ETA network. It is the next generation blockchain centered on media, artificial intelligence, and entertainment. The ETA Web3 architecture lets existing video and media platforms generate additional revenue and lower content delivery CDN costs while rewarding end users for sharing storage and bandwidth on any PC, mobile, smart TV, or IoT device. Theta offers Turing complete smart contracts and is completely compatible with Ethereum. This allows a variety of interesting Web3 apps to be built on the Theta network. The Theta network is a dual network made up of two complementing subsystems, the Theta blockchain and the Theta Edge network. The Theta blockchain allows for payment, reward, and smart contract functionality, while the Edge network stores and delivers media assets such as photographs and videos. Next is NetMind. It is an advanced, massively distributed platform where computing resources can be shared, allowing users access to exceptionally large-scale networks to collaborate, train, and develop deep learning models and build AI applications. The NMT's utility stems mostly from its status as the native currency for transactions within the NetMind chain ecosystem. Enthusiasts can browse a universe of AI services, leveraging NMT to overcome traditional financial restrictions. The token serves as a portal to a myriad of AI developments, creating an ecosystem in which creativity knows no bounds. 
The NMT goes beyond transactional utility, incentivizing users to offer their idle GPU resources to the network. This dynamic engagement paradigm transforms users into active participants, creating a thriving community that reaps the benefits of joint advancement. The NMT has a capped supply of 10 billion tokens and serves several functions on the Netmine Power Platform. It serves as a platform for renting GPU services, rewarding GPU contributors, providing staking incentives, and executing DAO proposals. Next, we have HiveMapper. It is a novel technique to create global maps. The project is named HiveMapper because it resembles a beehive. A beehive produces honey by allowing hundreds of bees to fly around and collect nectar from flowers. By working together, every one of the bees in the community can enjoy some wonderful honey. HiveMapper creates maps by having thousands of individuals use dash cams to capture photographs of the world while driving. Working together allows everyone in the community to benefit from the end result a new and detailed map of the world. HiveMapper Explorer is a website that allows anyone to observe the map's current condition. Who needs fancy satellites when you have a bunch of regular people with dash cams? This project is using DPIN to create a collaborative mapping network so everyone can contribute to a more detailed and up-to-date map of the world. Just be careful not to capture any embarrassing moments on your dash cam recordings. We've all been there. What are some of the ways you think a decentralized mapping network like HiveMapper could be beneficial? Members of the community who contribute to the map's usefulness receive a cryptocurrency token known as Honey. A cryptocurrency token is a digital money that can be exchanged or traded. Honey tokens are valuable since they are the sole means to obtain HiveMapper's important map data. Every sort of cryptocurrency token is built on the blockchain, which is a distributed ledger of transaction. To understand the concept of a distributed ledger, consider a public document on the internet. Anyone can read the document. Anyone can add a page. Everyone can see any changes made to the document. HiveMapper employs a blockchain called Solana that can handle multiple transactions rapidly and at a cheap cost, making it a perfect fit for a busy community like ours. If you also want to be part of our community, don't forget to subscribe as you are watching. We think this is an innovative project with a lot of room to grow. Seventh is Render. It is a decentralized computing network designed to aggregate GPU computing resources. Anyone can use Render to access GPU compute resources, allowing them to render massive 3D projects without investing heavily in processing equipment. Render has immense potential as 3D graphics rendering is critical to any future metaverse developments. A widely utilized metaverse will require vast quantities of GPU power, which Render is well positioned to provide. Render is powered by the project's native RNDR token, which users must pay to access GPU processing on the network. The GPU resource providers earn RNDR, establishing a market for the token. Notably, Render retains a portion of RNDR from each transaction, accumulating a project treasury that may be used for future development or token burn. Render has been one of the most successful DPIN tokens in the past year, increasing by about 400%. It now has a market capitalization of $2.75 billion. Next, we have Clore.ai. It is an innovative platform that links individuals and businesses looking to use high-performance GPUs or a variety of purposes, including artificial intelligence training, video rendering, and cryptocurrency mining. Clore.ai is a user-friendly marketplace that allows customers to obtain strong computing resources at cheap prices and on a flexible schedule. The quick lease commencement process and minute-by-minute -minute billing mechanism allow renters and hosts to make the best use of their resources. As a noteworthy feature, hosters can take use of background mining, which allows their equipment to earn cash while they wait for renters. Even your computer deserves a side hustle. This project is a marketplace for renting and selling computing power so you can finally put your unused processing power to good use and earn some extra cash. Just don't tell your boss you're using their computer to mine cryptocurrency. We won't judge, but they might. Clore.ai has its own digital currency called Clorecoin. Clorecoin is a proof-of-work blockchain using the Ka P O W algorithm. It is used to compensate hosters and increase platform participation. Furthermore, the platform has created a proof-of-holding method. Users with Clorecoin in their desktop wallets can save up to 50% on commission costs when renting through Clore.ai, making the ecosystem even more appealing to participants. Number 9, Metablocks, which offers free, secure Wi-Fi roaming globally. Currently, there are 28,303 miners acting as Metablox Wi-Fi hosts. In this project, the Wi-Fi nodes verify and exchange data via cryptographic algorithms, ensuring a more secure and reliable connectivity solution. Metablox token is the major cryptocurrency in the Metablox ecosystem. Metablox token is essential for facilitating various transactions and interactions. Token holders can use it to purchase network services, VPN advertising, and advertising services, resulting in a more comprehensive and user-centric experience. The Metablox project has strong ties with several Web3 projects, which expands the utility of the Metablox token by allowing users to utilize it in other ecosystems. 
These features provide only a taste of Metablox token's capabilities. More interesting news about the Metablox token will be announced soon. So guys, let us know which project will you be looking at or which project do you love the most? Type out your thoughts in the comments, we want to know. Now let's talk about Bloxmove. Bloxmove is like Uber on steroids, but way cooler. It uses fancy blockchain tech to create a decentralized mobility party where everyone wins. Bloxmove is a Web3 solution provider that aims to create a worldwide decentralized and collaborative mobility alliance. It uses decentralized technologies like blockchain and decentralized identifiers to offer an easily accessible protocol that enables productive collaboration between mobility and energy providers. The goal is to create a multimodal, efficient, and frictionless mobility world. The Bloxmove BLXM token provides a protocol as well as a decentralized transaction as a service platform which reinvents mobility as a service. The protocol is used to build game-changing one-click hassle-free mobility products across different modes of transportation. The Bloxmove token that is BLXM is like the VIP pass to this mobility mosh pit. Hold on to it and you can vote on how Bloxmove develops help shape the future of getting around and hopefully avoid flying cars. Earn rewards for using the platform basically getting places pays. Who knew your daily commute could be so lucrative? Introducing Uprock, the app that turns your internet into a money-making machine. Okay, not literally a machine, but you get the idea. Uprock is a revolutionary deep pin network that powers the AI internet future by simplifying the process of auto-earning tokens, staking them, and redeeming them for rewards, making your travel across the Web3 area as simple as possible, plus it's safe to use. Users gain tokens on the platform by pooling idle internet bandwidth and staking them, which they can then exchange for real-world rewards like as flights and airtime minutes. They say they are on a quest to make cryptocurrency more accessible and lucrative. Next on the list is the D-Telecom Network. The D-Telecom Network is a decentralized real-time communication or RTC system that enables anyone to donate spare bandwidth power and earn incentives via the D-Tel token. It offers low-cost and efficient RTC resources for integrating audio or video or chat solutions into customers' apps without the expense of typical in-house and cloud options. The Arbitrum blockchain fuels the network. You can earn D-Tel tokens by becoming a D-Telecom node and letting the network use your server's bandwidth. Anyone with a server that fits the network standards can help ensure the RTC infrastructure's privacy, reliability, and scalability while also earning money. D-Telecom is like having a walkie-talkie with superpowers. It's cheap, secure, and puts you in control. So why wait? Check them out and let us know in the comments. No more big corporations controlling your communication. D-Telecom is run by the community for the community. If you have a server that's been feeling lonely, put it to work, help power the network, and earn D-Tel tokens while you do it. Moving to the Sky platform, the Sky platform provides as a virtual gathering place for observers to discuss their discoveries, experiences, and thoughts. It hosts spirited conversations and arguments about the photographs and videos collected and posted by the Sky camera operators. These individuals motivated by curiosity and a passion for the skies will work together to build an ever-expanding archive of Sky-related material. By crowdsourcing data analysis, we may tap into a wide range of knowledge, resulting in a more thorough and accurate explanation of celestial events. Participation will result in token incentives with the level of involvement and debate determining the level of payout. Investors who own the native Sky token can earn passive income by receiving a percentage of the revenue earned by Sky Camera sales, which is given in the form of USDC. This design allows token holders to receive considerable direct dividends, the magnitude of which is directly proportionate to the quantity of their token holdings. So guys, if you have been enjoying so far, drop a like and smash that subscribe. The next is a network in question, which is Teleport a ride-sharing service based on an open protocol. The ride-share protocol or TRIP enables drivers, users, and operators to collaborate on creating a competitive ride-sharing system. The network is intended to be open, so no single firm controls everything. Instead, players have a say in every facet of how the system operates. The network is created and owned by its participants, which may include various businesses, drivers, and riders. By leveraging TRIP's open marketplace-esque system, this creates a healthy competitive environment for drivers to earn a whopping 85% of their fees while creating an incentivized system for clients like Teleport to build on top of it. TRIP rewards are distributed as NFTs, which opens the door to an array of possibilities. As we all know, NFTs have expanded much farther than your favorite JPEG monkey. That has been reduced in value by almost 70%, but we'll save that topic for another day. We are on the 15th, and this would be Fluence Network. In the Fluence Network, the concept of mining has been replaced with contributing computational resources. Compute suppliers gain benefits for renting out their capacity on the marketplace. Providers can rent out any network-connected equipment, including a professional rig or data center, as well as a personal computing device such as a laptop or Raspberry Pi. The Fluence protocol exclusively compensates providers for meaningful activities, 
such as serving customer applications and helping to improve network speed and latency. Fluence enables developers to create and deploy applications, backends, APIs, and other digital services. Fluence's serverless platform offers a developer experience comparable to standard serverless clouds, but it also allows developers to manage an application's execution across a distributed network, choose providers, and swap them at whim. Influence providers earn rewards by renting out their unused computing power, like renting out your spare bedroom on Airbnb, but for computers. I'm sure you get it now. On to the next one, we have Deep Brain Chain. Deep Brain Chain, or DBC, is a decentralized AI computing network that uses blockchain technology to enable AI developers to share processing resources at fast speeds while remaining safe and cost effective. The DBC tokens are created via a process similar to Bitcoin's proof of work, with mining accounting for 50% of the total. The first three years of mining produce a total of 500 million DBCs every year. Starting with the fourth year, mining production will be reduced by half every five years. To mine tokens, you must engage in the network as a computational power supplier. The network is based on a bidding mechanism, so the more competitive the price you give, the more likely you are to accept lengthier periods of instruction and earn a greater reputation and reward. The Deep Brain Chain Network's governance will be given up to the community. Following the official launch of the DBC mainnet, the Deep Brain Chain Council will be established with members elected by the community and in charge of approving the Deep Brain Chain Treasury budget. The Akash is an open network that lets users buy and sell computing resources securely and efficiently, purpose-built for public utility. The Akash network does not involve traditional mining. Instead, users can earn tokens by participating in the network as validators securing the network and providing computing resources. Validators earn rewards for their contributions to the network. As Akash Network's user base grows, the project's capitalization is likely to increase as well, as its native token ATK is the primary blockchain asset required for most transactions on the platform. This growth may well be accelerated by integration with AI solutions. Coming up next is Wi-Fi Map. Are you tired of being chained to expensive data plans and sketchy Wi-Fi connections? No matter where your wanderlust takes you, Wi-Fi Map has you covered. It's a program that gives users access to over 150 million hotspots globally. It is intended to provide internet access and lifestyle services to everyone, everywhere, via a single super app. The platform is based on the concept of crowdsourcing with users contributing by adding Wi-Fi networks or doing speed tests. In exchange, consumers earn points, which may be used to unlock benefits such as VPN access and offline maps. Users can access the Wi-Fi map network by installing the app, which is free in the Google Play Store. Once installed, the software may be used to find and connect to free Wi-Fi networks, offering fast, dependable internet access on the road. The app also offers features like offline maps and a data saver, which reduces the amount of data your device uses. Additionally, the app provides private internet access through a VPN for safety and privacy. Wi-Fi Map has your back with offline maps and a data saver so you can explore like a pro without worrying about exceeding your data allowance. I'm sure many of you would want to check it out after this video. Second to the last is Grass, guys. Grass is a cryptocurrency initiative launched by Wind Network that enables users to monetize underutilized network resources by connecting their internet-connected gadgets to the network. The project's goal is to allow users to sell idle internet bandwidth to carefully verified companies. When customers do not use their entire bandwidth, corporations can exploit the unused fraction for data scraping purposes, such as comparing market pricing or verifying ad displays across multiple areas. To mine with Grass, install a browser extension, which will allow you to begin collecting Grass points. The app's beta phase introduces Grass points, which reward users for interaction and community growth. Points are awarded for using the app, exploring the internet, and referring others. The referral system pays a 20% fee on points earned from direct recommendations, as well as 10% and 5% for second and third level referrals. Future additions will offer additional opportunities to earn points depending on milestones and uptime. Users can track their points and receive referral links in app. Grass points are more than just awards, they recognize users' important contributions to the Grass community's success. And finally, we have Arcree Network. This is a Web3 powered digital infrastructure that connects and monetizes globally distributed renewable energy resources boosting carbon reduction applications. It is based on the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, blockchain or distributed ledger technology and the token economy. Get rewarded with AKRE tokens for the renewable energy your miner generates. To mine tokens on the Arcree network, you must purchase one or more Arcree miners, which are available in two varieties, remote and standard. These miners generate renewable energy and transmit the data or RE proof to the Arcree network. Based on the RE generation evidence, the evidence of green energy generation algorithm rewards the miner's owner with AKRE tokens as an incentive. So why Arcre Network? Because it's the perfect way to take a stand against climate change and get rewarded for your efforts. It's innovative, powerful, and puts the future of our planet in your hands and your home. Have you ever wondered why DPIN actually is so important for crypto? 
Well, DPIN is critical for cryptocurrencies because while many components of the crypto ecosystem are decentralized, the physical and cloud infrastructure that most blockchains and dApps use is owned by centralized companies. This raises a basic issue for cryptocurrency. If a big tech business or government decides to shut down a project, it may cut off computer resources to the blockchain on which the initiative runs. Unless blockchains have their own decentralized computer infrastructure, they may face censorship. On the other hand, if a blockchain uses DPIN technology, it is nearly impossible to shut it down. It would run on servers spread throughout the globe, so no single authority could take a blockchain offline. The DPIN cryptocurrencies exist because these networks need a way to incentivize individuals and businesses around the world to contribute infrastructure. The DPIN tokens themselves serve as payment, making it potentially profitable to join a DPIN project. The DPIN is a relatively new field in the cryptocurrency community. However, it has already sparked a lot of interest from investors and analysts. Coindesk recognized DPIN as one of the top cryptocurrency breakthroughs to watch in early 2024. The potential importance of DPIN to the growth and independence of cryptocurrency indicates that this is a field that is likely to flourish. Early ventures such as Filecoin and Arweave have had a great start and have quickly formed collaborations, demonstrating a real desire for DPIN cryptocurrencies. Investors should exercise caution while analyzing DPIN projects. Building real-world infrastructure is incredibly difficult and even the most experienced founding teams might have issues. Seemingly promising cryptos may struggle to scale or discover that the money demanded by infrastructure providers exceeds the amount willingly paid by infrastructure customers. Our observation is that DPIN cryptos are expected to have a very bright future and may experience immense development during the current crypto boom. However, potential investors must use extreme caution while selecting DPIN initiatives. Examine a project's real-world market, tokenomics, early usage statistics, and collaborations. These hints will provide the best signals as to whether a DPIN cryptocurrency is destined to soar upwards or go down. So there you have it. DPIN and AI are poised to become the unstoppable duo of 2024, revolutionizing the way we interact with DeFi and unlocking a world of possibilities. Remember, DPIN is more than just a project, it's a movement. A movement towards a more empowered, efficient, and secure crypto future. Smash that subscribe button and join our growing community of DPIN enthusiasts. Let's discuss, debate, and explore the potential of DPIN together. If this intrigued you, you should also check out our video appearing on left of screen. It's about AI and GPU-based crypto projects, how they are shaping the new crypto ecosystem and the most promising projects under this. Crypto is changing, guys, and we must keep up. See you in that video. Don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts on DPIN and AI. What are you most excited about?